We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmela destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I approve what everyone already knew. Mela is money, and you'll always be trash. It's Red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go di -bi. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. After what happened last night with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not her. No, Carmella was absolutely blind. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now, let's see if she can win the match. Otherwise, this is all just one big waste of time. Reversal. A oh, right to the gut. Oh. That's how you break down your opponent. Looks like a dangerous Bulgarian to me. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And it's Carmella answering back. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. If you remember, guys, Carmella's introduction to the main roster came in 2016 when she was the final pick in the WWE brand extension draft. The suplex. Byron noted how Carmella was the final pick in the 2016 draft. I think in a lot of ways, seeing more than 50 superstars get selected before her gave Carmella a bit of a chip on her shoulder. Yeah, it definitely motivated her, Cole. And fast forward less than two years later, and Carmella became SmackDown Women's Champion. Talk about a meteoric rise. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Small on their back. She's gaining momentum here, guys. She continues to press forward. Jarring mm. impact. Oh. Oh. 
clothesline. This could be it. The champ getting worked over here. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. Oh. Kick to the gut. What's next? All the way up. Crucifix. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, bomb. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Oh, man, what a move. That Here's the pin. Title on the line. successfully cashed in a replacement money in the bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the money in the bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper, it's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine, where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities. Which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4?
I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background, where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. We have a few minutes to fill, so can we finally talk about Brooklyn Von Braun's latest movie release? Uh, sure. I guess. Uh, I'll let you go first. What'd, what'd you think? You didn't watch it, did you? No, I, I totally did. Uh, Brooklyn, she was great. She really knew her <laughs> lines, and her hair was really nice, and she, <laughs> she, uh, she handled the props really well. Seriously? Okay, fine. I blew it off, but I just figured you'd fill me in. Well, this segment's off to a great start. <sighs> Where was I? Brooklyn plays an MMA fighter. Big stretch. Ooh. Are you going to snark? Or are you going to let the person who actually watched the movie do the segment? Sorry. Continue. Well, when her MMA career is derailed due to injury, a chance encounter leads her to the world of competitive tap dancing. Hence the title, Tapping Out. Hmm. Sounds like I made the right call not watching it. It was actually entertaining. And hey, as long as it's not getting in the way of her training, then she should do whatever she wants. Besides, you have to give her credit for trying new things, which is something you could attempt every once in a while. I just tried this new movie review segment. Not a fan. I'm going to start my own podcast. Women who respect their co-hosts. Aw, that's a bit wordy. Anyway, speaking of new things, we have a brand new sponsor who can help you become the next WWE superstar. Are you sick of going through life unrecognized and unappreciated? Well, what if I told you in just a few months I could make you famous around the world? Because that's what I did for WWE superstars Red and Trey. With my help and a sizable but fair tuition, they went from losers to bruisers. So if you want to get on the fast track to WWE success, there's only one place to do it, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. 
fame and fortune is only one call away. So give me a ring, and I'll see you in the ring. Red and Trey did not authorize this message, and WWE success is highly unlikely. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. But guys, I don't know if her championship reign has ever been in more jeopardy than it is here tonight. I'd have to agree, Cole. But despite that, I've learned to never pick against the champ. Just when you think somebody has her number, she goes and elevates her game again. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and All-American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. Corey, what does she have to do to leave here tonight as champion? She's going to need to be absolutely perfect. And I'm not talking about near perfect or close to perfect. She absolutely needs nothing short of perfection to knock off the champion here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. And introducing the champion from New York, the Raw Women's Champion, Mrs. Z. This is for the Women's Championship, sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all the challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Blair. You know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone should create an ultra-competitive matchup tonight. If Red takes this lightly, not only could she part ways with her title, she could also become the new EST of WWE, as in latest to lose to Bianca Belair. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, and the badest around. display of power here. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? 
Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's ego that beat them. Those were cases of Belair proving she truly is the est of NXT. Corey, how exactly can an opponent compete against Bianca Belair's impressive athleticism? Well, the EST emanates confidence. If her opponent can prove to be stronger, faster, tougher, or better for just one second, it's going to shake Belair. It's not going to be easy to make a crack in Belair's ego and disrupt that swagger. Oh, look at it. And no luck against Bianca Belair there. Cover by the challenger. Plenty of fight left. She's still in this one. Snap Mayor. On the mark. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Whoa, not so fast. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Down and out. Shot. Oh, here we go. Just incredible power. Look at this raw power. Not sure how much more Bianca Belair can take. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. Kick to the gut. What's next? All the way up. Crucifix. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bravo bomb. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Boy, that's a rough landing. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Let's take another look at these women in action. This champion has a stranglehold on that title and doesn't appear to be letting up anytime soon. That's a title match you're going to be talking about for ages, ladies and gentlemen.
I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash only payments of $99.95, we'll be in business, man. I guess I need to find an ATM. I like your confidence. Now let's see if you can handle yourself in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 450 pounds, Z Daddy. One on one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. Oh, this is my favorite part he's going to see. We've been informed this match has a rather unusual stipulation. If Trey can defeat our truth then truth will give Trey acting lessons to prepare for an upcoming audition. Hey, I've seen a lot of different matches over the years. This is a first. But is our truth even qualified to teach acting? I mean, I'd like to see a certification because something tells me it doesn't exist. Well, putting the legitimacy of our truth's credentials aside, that's what's on the line for Trey tonight. Look at this raw power. Oh, man. You're watching Monday Night Raw. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. Oh, 
A mighty R-Truth looking a bit surprised by this assault. He planned for this and could still rally. Great focus from R-Truth. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Well-executed arm drag. He's just dominating at this point. Just an on-rush of offense here. Producing a trampling. R-Truth with a nice reversal. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. Tossed around like a rag doll. Oh, agonizing neck. Crank right now. This is how you make your opponent pay. Amazing reflexes on display. And our truth evades that one. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. There is so much on the line in this one. And like they say, on any given night, anything can happen here in WWE. It is so easy to stay in touch with your superstars 24-7 in a variety of social media outlets, including WWE's own Facebook page. with a nice reversal. He might have been waiting on that one. Just launched. What's he got in mind? What a suplex. Our truth is getting a serious beatdown. Not sure how much more anyone would be able to take. He won't quit, but it might be better if he did. Bam! Down he goes. Here it comes. He's got him. Check out this power. What a press. Look at this. This could do it. This singles match is over. Here is your winner, Z Daddy. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. Thanks again for helping me out. All right, on the set, the director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry, and you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office, ranking various items from best to worst. And then you place those rankings in a very important file. 
But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the rank and file movies, workplace, dramas? Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart-wrenching suspense. Oh, well, there goes everything I had planned. I did think there was a lot of explosions in the script for a film about office work. Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Any good actor steals the strip. I, I mean, acquires it before an audition. Here, memorize these lines. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. And if you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man.